uh, speaking of the things we yearn for, perhaps it would be good if the federal government didn't keep jacking up the tobacco excise and at the same time basically saying to organised crime gangs, here's some new business to you. Every time the government does it, they go, oh my God, the illegal tobacco is going through the roof. I can't believe this is happening. Maybe it's got something to do with you and the boss of... Richie's IGA in Victoria came out today, uh, Fred Harrison is his name, and said, this is actually starting to cost jobs in my supermarkets. We know exactly when there is a new illegal tobacco shop opening up down the road because our cigarette sales plummet. Some 1,000 new illegal tobacco shops have opened in Victoria in the last year. Gee, I wonder why. Maybe it's because a packet of cigarettes cost you $40 now. And, and, and here's some... It's closer to 50 It's crazy. More than 50 Here's some numbers for you, right? Between 2015-16 and 2020-21, the tobacco market shrank by 34%. In the same time, the duty collected on tobacco went up by 43.7%. Oh. What does that tell you? I mean, why do they reckon that the illegal tobacco market's going through the roof? Well, it tells you two things. It tells you that the government's campaign to get people to give up smoking is working, and part of that campaign is through higher taxes. And the second thing it tells you is that police should do their job. If it's illegal oh, to just... sell cigarettes on the black market, and if the local IGA guy knows where the local illegal cigarettes are, why don't the police know them? Why are they doing no, what about it? No, what it tells you is that the government is money-hungry, and they don't particularly care to stop you smoking. What it's they not want about is your tax. Yes. And that's despite the fact that according to the last ABS stats, it's still responsible for 13% of our excess deaths as well as something like 18% of our disease burden. <clears throat> so everyone in our hospitals, etc., and so on, because it takes on many forms. It's not just lung cancer or this or that. It, it can take so many different pressures on the body. They simply don't care. And this is what always happens when you make people's poison too expensive. They'll just they'll just find a cheaper way. They'll Indeed. find a cheaper way. Hey, really quickly, I want to talk about Rishi Sunak in the UK. I'm wondering if uh, reality is finally catching up with climate ideologues. The British uh, Prime Minister has just announced he will scale back his country's net zero ambitions, declaring we will no longer impose unacceptable costs on hardworking British families. Have a listen to some of what he said. The proposal for government to interfere in how many passengers you can have in your car, I've scrapped it. The proposal that we should force you to have seven different bins in your home, I've scrapped it. The proposal to make you change your diet and harm British farmers by taxing meat, or to create new taxes to discourage flying or going on holiday, I've scrapped those too. And nor will we ban new oil and gas in the North Sea which would simply leave us reliant on expensive imported energy from foreign dictators like Putin. Liz, it's amazing how a looming election reminds politicians, though briefly, where their power actually comes from. I'm not convinced, because in my, in my humble opinion, Rishi Sunak is very much a WEF man. He's, he's from Goldman Sachs. He's of that ilk. I'm not convinced that these proposals weren't proposals that were put forward just so he could give this speech and look like an absolute <laughs> legend. Someone suggested this. I'm not doing it. Someone suggested this other terrible idea. I'm not doing it. Makes for a great show, but was it legit?